Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. Here at The Lone Doctrine, we like to look at many different perspectives. We are your source of gathering as much knowledge and aha moments as possible in order to make today better than yesterday. So today, I'd like to look into 15 Things You Should Give Up to Be Happy by The Purpose Fairy. 15 Things You Shouldn't Give Up to Be Happy. Number one, don't give up on love. Never ever give up on love and love will not give up on you. Love is what makes the world go round. It's the glue that holds us together. A life without love is a life of empty meaning. Number two, don't give up on real friendships. What is life without honest, real, and meaningful friendships? What is life without love and companion of those who see the beauty, the greatness, and the perfection that lies within you? Give up on meaningless friendships, forced interactions, and unnecessary conversations, but never give up on real and authentic friendships. Number three, don't give up on thankfulness. Life isn't as bad as your mind is trying to make it, and you will only be able to recognize the truth the moment you give up criticizing and complaining about the many things that are wrong with the world and start appreciating the many things that are right. Always remember that good things come to those who have a thankful heart. Another quote, I'm Utterly convinced that the key to lifelong success is the regular exercise of a single emotional muscle. Gratitude. Gratitude is huge. Number four. Don't give up integrity. Learn to live a good life. When you live life with integrity and self-determination, happiness will follow you wherever you go. Make integrity one of your core values and your life will flourish more and more each day. Number five, don't give up hope. No matter how many times life will hit you in the head with a brick and no matter how many times you will fall down on your knees feeling lost, abandoned, and defeated, never give up hope. You never know when the tide will turn and the sun will shine on your street once again. No, don't give up on hope just yet. It's the last thing to go. When you have lost hope, you have lost everything. And when you think all is lost, when all dire and bleak, there is always hope. N Number six, don't give up on your dreams. Dreams have the power to make you really happy and keep you fully alive. Dreams are food for your soul. A life without dreams is a life with no soul. Don't settle for less than you are worth. Dare to dream big. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars by Les Brown. Number seven, don't give up believing in yourself. Believe in yourself and all that you are because if you don't, chances are that the world around you won't believe in you either. You are all you've got. Your biggest and greatest asset. Learn to love yourself, accept yourself, forgive yourself, and be good to yourself. Because without you, the rest of us are without a source of many wonderful things. Number eight, don't give up on your authenticity. Life is too short to waste it on pretending to be something you are not. Embrace the real you, your beautiful and authentic self, and never let other people define who you are. Always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. Don't give up kindness. Offer your love and support to those who need and ask for it. Be kind to all living beings, not necessarily because they deserve it, but because you do. Give with an open heart without expecting anything in return. Why? Because giving is a sign of having, and the more you give, the more life will give back to you. Number 10, don't give up simplicity. Living in a constant chase to acquire more stuff, more power, more friends, more money, and more of everything is exhausting. 
You think you're in control when, in fact, the things you are chasing after are the ones controlling you. Let go of clutter, whether it's mental, emotional, or material, and let simplicity govern your life. Happiness comes to those who live a simple life, to those who know that less is more and that quality is better than quantity. Number 11. Don't give up on your playful spirit. Let go of all thoughts of limitations about how you should or should not behave based on how old you are. Age is nothing but a number. An issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. We all have an inner child that wants to come out and play, so why not let him or her play? Be playful. Be childlike. Have fun in all that you do. Laugh until your belly hurts and then laugh some more. Why take life so seriously? Why take yourself so seriously? A playful life is a happy life, and those who give up playfulness give up happiness. Number 12. Don't give up faith in humanity. There are plenty of people in this world who act in horrifying and monstrous ways towards themselves and those around them, but that doesn't mean you and I should give up our faith in humanity because of them. You must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is like an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. Don't give up on your vulnerability. Contrary to what you were led to believe, vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a great strength. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. Never be afraid to open your heart to those around you. Let them see into your naked soul. We cultivate love when we allow our most vulnerable and powerful selves to be deeply seen and known. And when we honor the spiritual connection that grows from the offering with trust, respect, kindness, and affection. Number 14. Don't give up on your humility. No matter how far you go in life and no matter how successful you might become, promise yourself to never look down on anybody unless you're helping him up. Humility is the path to greatness, your key to a happier life. You have to humble your heart. To have a humble heart is to have a noble heart. Don't give up on your noble heart. And number 15, don't give up on your ability to forgive. People will lie to you. They will use, mistreat, and abuse you. But that doesn't mean you should continue their work by holding on to poisonous thoughts of hate and resentment. Fill your heart with love and grace. Forgive and let go. Let go of bitterness and resentment, but never of love and forgiveness. When you hold resentments toward another, you are bound to that person or condition by an emotional link that is stronger than steel. Forgiveness is the only way to dissolve that link and be free. Let go of what makes you unhappy. Hold on to that which makes you happy and watch your life transform. Now, sometimes as we look into our lives, we see all the things we should let go. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't be friends with them. You shouldn't go to that type of job. You shouldn't take that from your boss. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. But a great perspective in reading articles like this is it shows you what you should hold on to. Even though it's saying, don't let go, it's saying, don't let go of the positive. Switch your mind frame to see the light rather than the dark. Perspective is huge. Now, I would love to know your thoughts and your ideas based on all these different perspectives. I am working through this so-called life with you, stumbling, falling, succeeding, being excited, being sad, and being transparent as possible. I would love to know your thoughts, your ideas. So join us on our Facebook page at Lone Doctrine. Come check us out on Instagram for inspirational quotes and food for thoughts. And also shoot me a message. Write a review on iTunes. Let me know how I can serve you better. And let me know how we can keep fighting the good fight.